Hello everyone. My name is Rahul. In this video, let's look at how to enable history for Azure DevOps variable groups. Recently at one of my clients, I accidentally deleted a variable group from a DevOps pipeline only to realize that it cannot be restored. Luckily for me, this was a development environment variable group and I had access to relevant machines. I quickly jumped onto the machines and repopulated the variable groups with the appropriate values. But this is definitely not a place I want to be in again. Let's look at how to use Azure Key Vault to enable history for Azure DevOps variable groups. Let's head off to the Azure DevOps. The source code for the application expects two properties, connection string and AD client ID to be replaced for the relevant stages. I have already set up the pipelines with two stages, dev and test. Let's go and link the variables from the key vault to the variable groups. Under variables, select variable groups and select link. Since we do not have the variable groups created, let's go to manage variable groups and create the ones required. Let's create the dev variable group to start with. Let's call this dev and enable the link secrets from an Azure key vault as variables option. This prompts you to select the subscription for me, which is ultimate and the key vault that you require to link with. I have already created a dev and test for the SAML. Let's select dev. If you have not authorized this before, it will prompt you to authorize and add an access policy to the key vault. Let's select the variables that's required from the key vault. Since we need both, let's check them both and select OK. Let's save the dev variable group. To create a test one, we can now clone this and change the key vault associated with it. Let's name it test and select the test key vault and choose the appropriate variables. These are secrets that I have already created in the key vault prior to this demo. Let's save the test variable group. Let's head back to the pipelines and now link the variable group that we just created. The dev is related to the dev stage. So let's select dev and link them. Similarly, for the test, let's link it with the test stage. Now that we have both the dev group variable groups and the test linked up, let's save this with an appropriate comment. Linked variables from key vault. Let's create a new release and deploy into the dev environment. Let's head to the newly created release to see the update. Let's click on deploy to trigger the deployment into the development environment. Both these stages are pointing to the same Azure web app to which we'll go and see how the replacement has happened. You can see there's a download secrets YouTube dev step that's automatically created that was linked from the variable groups. This gets the secrets from the key vault associated and makes it available for the app service deployment task. Now that this is done, let's head to the diagnostic console or the kudu console and check the app settings.json. I will refresh this again and you can see the connection string and the client ID is populated from the key vault in dev. Let's go and trigger a new deployment for the test environment. Under test, let's deploy 
which deploys that to the same environment that we've just created. In the steps here, you can see this downloads from the YouTube test key vault that we had linked it with. Now that it's done, let's head back to the diagnostic console and check the app settings again. You can see this is now updated to the test connection string and the test ID. Both these are key vaults created in the Azure portal. If you go into one of these key vaults, you can see the secrets that are created here. If any of these values are to change, let's say we create a new create new version for this secret and name it, since this is in dev, I'll say dev client ID new and create that. You notice that there is an older version and the current version. Key Vault always maintains versions of the objects created, so you will never lose an old value created. This automatically enables history for us. If you head back to the pipelines and deploy test again, you can see that it picks up the newly updated value for the property. It succeeded. Let's head again to the diagnostic console and refresh this again to see the updated value. You can see the dev client ID is now new. As you can see with each deployment, the pipeline pulls the latest, the current values from the key vault and deploys that as part of the deployment. By having the versions in Key Vault, we are also maintaining the history. As you had seen when we created the variable groups, even if you accidentally deleted one of the variable groups, you can easily clone one from the other and just link it to the appropriate Key Vault that you have for that environment. This enables easy maintaining of history using Key Vault for the Azure DevOps variable groups. Hope this helps. Thank you.